They started to look for the metal bands around the continents and tried to enlist the best metal bands from all the corners of the world. Now they started to find special interest in southern part of Asia. So this particular video is made about the best metal bands of Bangla Lingo region. Though this region is not socio-economically developed as European American countries, but they have quality metal bands with enriched metal scene. We put the bands in this list which create the clerics in Bangla, so some bands may seem missed. Basically most of the bands are from Bangladesh. The majority of these bands from Bangladesh create the lyrics in Bangla. Where the bands from the West Bengal and Northeast India region pursue their music in English. As Bangla is one of the most spoken languages on the basis of the number of native speakers and no metal music band from the Bangla came forward to the world audiences. So we decided to upload the Bangla metal. Let's start. Number 10. Satanic Satanic was founded in 2001 in Dhaka. They were influenced by various death metal bands. They officially released their first track, Anti Nidra, in a mixed album called Probotone in 2005. And it was very red point of metal bands like Death or Black Metal in Bangladesh and Bangladeshi music industry. But the two music video called Anti Nidra and Duanong was broadcasted in public TV channels. They are the first extra metal band of Bangladesh to perform open air and broadcast it on TV. Recently, they released their first full length album called The Messenger of the Last Avatar. It mentioned the genre as typical brutal black slash death metal. But they composed their songs in that album in English for the international market. They were also scheduled to perform on the same stage with Elevati in the Dhaka tour, but because of some internal issues, that could not happen. Number 9. The Illumination A symphonic rock slash metal band formed in October 2006, a new lineup from same old Vietnam editions of Bangladesh, Shams from Wapais and Shutja. Their experiment came as the first symphonic rock slash metal experience in Bangladesh. They released their five tracks before they released their only album, Oni Varju, and it was very unique in Bangladesh in their career. It was one of the best seller of Bangladesh albums. Idris Shoja Darfin also has a new classical side project named Operation Angry Machine, and he also became the ambassador of Blackstar. Number 8. Power Surge Power Surge is one of the most emerging bands of Bangladesh. Power Surge was formed in 2006 and they also released their first single that year. They are a masterpiece of modern crash metal with grandest melodies and choruses, which is little what they heard of Bangladeshi Metalhead. They were the winner of a reality show which was about a hunt of talented bands. They released their only album in 2008. After that, they managed to become a one of the Bangladesh underground scene. They also are a regular face of mainstream media as they perform many shows in public TV channels of Bangladesh. Number 7. Stentorium Stentorium was formed in order to one. They helped a lot to popularize metal in Bangladesh as they were one of the pioneer bands of underground heavy metal music movement in Bangladesh. And they also was one of the first bands which is provided for doing crash metal music on the band music. They started with vocal Toshi Khan. He helped the band with three tracks to track audition due to improve their talent. Toshio's outstanding vocal performance is still made by the band, but he started his own band in Australia called Shadow Realm. 
after the departure of Torsha the band started the game and released the mainstream hit Kishon Noadhar and their first album Cooking Ruthie which was also a huge success. Now they were working on the second album. <laughs> Number 6. Portions Portions is considered as one of the pioneering bands of West Congress rock music scene. Portions is more of a rock band, but the number of crack has amplified distortions in them. All of their six albums have accurate mainstream success. So they're depicted as hard rock and alternative metal legend of West Bengal. They are also appreciable for their regular application of social issues. And the vocal and founder of Rukum Islam's psychoanalytical lyrics made them undominated. Nowadays they're experimenting with genres like shoegaze, alternative rock, hardcore punk, heavy metal. Mentionable effort in mixing and mastering took them to another level. Number 5. Rockstrapper Rockstar seems to be the biggest legend among the heavy metal musicians as they have pioneered The band was active in the live concert scene of Bangladesh between the years of 1986 to 1992. In 1990, undaunted by the lack of precedence, Rockstar decided to write their own first ever Bangla song of heavy metal genre. It was at the time when history of heavy metal songs were written and composed and history was in the making. They released their first self-titled album in 1992 it was one of the first heavy metal albums along with In Dhaka in the history of music of Bangladesh. After that, they went underground. While the members of the band was in the US, they started working on the second album and they finally released it in 2014. And in 2015, they were reunited, they also performed a show with other musicians and it was a premiere on the silver screen. Cryptic Fate Cryptic Fate is one of the pioneer metal bands from Bangladesh. The band started in 1993 by a group of school age students. In 1994, they released their first album, an English album called Ends of Forever. In 1997, they composed their second album, which was a Bangla album called Stretch Tool. By releasing the track Chalo Bangladesh in a mixed album, they came into limelight. Then they managed to release the album on the biggest rock level in the country. The album was revolutionary in terms of composition and boosted the band's popularity. Cryptic Fate continues to be one of the major bands in Bangladesh and as the fan base for heavy metal music increased, so did the popularity of the band. Their fourth and latest album, Noimosh, proves that they're here to stay. Number 3. Artuhin Artuhin is one of the leading bands of English. Today, there are no further mix of metal acoustic and extremely heavy metal numbers in their albums. In the recent years, they had also seen a kind of new punk and alternative rock shadows that also passed out their sound. They have their most successful sequel of the album called Oshunapu. This album series consists of the best lineup ever imagined in English. Closing virtuous of bass player Shun, who is also the founder of the band and a very renowned place in the Bangladeshi music industry. For his outstanding playing, he is also known as Bass Baba, which means boss of bass, and Bangladeshi legend Ibrahim Kumar also collaborated in this album, along with other talented musicians, composers, multi instrumentalists. They don't have any constant genres as they are always trying to experiment with their music and their fan base overwhelmingly appreciates them. Number 2. Otso Otso is a progressive metal band, but the band is usually experienced with tunes from other genres like trash and brunch. Their first album, Onnushomar, brought them to worldwide fame on this Bangladeshi music band. The second album was Hanukkah Pranta with the level 4, which also was a hit. This two album was kind of hits which made a history in the music industry of Bangladesh. Few tracks outside these albums are still recited in the youth generation of the country. 
they're virtuoso in playing and complex in theme, but it is a lyrics blunder for a lot of people on our stage. On the front, though, the track itself is regarded as the most appeased of progressive metal all over the world. The huge success of these two albums made them one of the leading rock bands of Bangladesh and internationally framed them as a progressive metal band. Before we unveil the top band of this list, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Warface Warface is a rock band from Bangladesh with elements of heavy metal and progressive metal in some of their songs. They were one of the first such bands of this genre in this country. The emergence of Warface and bands like Rock Shadow defined a near horizon in Bangla music. Warface was formed in 1984. In the early 90s, they have multiple tracks, so they decided to release an album and they released the self titled one in 1991. Back in 1990, Bangladeshi music listeners were still new to metal. It took several weeks for their music to be appreciated. The band has been constantly cited as an inspiration by most active heavy metal bands, heavy metal artists today in Bangladesh, as one of the first bands to introduce metal to Bangladesh. They released the most number of hard rock metal albums among the bands of Bangladesh, and the number of promising talent played for this band and their period in various bands. What is the stem of Bangladesh heavy metal music, so the band unarguably deserves the best position in this list. So the video ends here. Let us know your opinions and share your own thoughts. If you like this video, stay with us by subscribing to the channel. Till then, see you and hones up.